Hi everyone. I made a collection of some photos where I found that I had some subtle and some not so subtle sharpness issues. I wanted to show you those issues and give you a, uh, some idea why I think they are um, an issue. The first example is a family that I took a photos of last summer right when I graduated from uh, the Art Institute and um, I lined them up on a wall at a park and uh, if you can look here at my uh, f-stop that I used when I took these photos it's f 5.6 and that is just not closed down enough to uh, get this family all the way sharp. Unfortunately, Lightroom won't let you see where I put the focus point, but I think it's probably right here in this area um, between these two girls. You can see that the girls are um, the girl's eyes are all sharp. until we get to dad and the little brother. Uh, and 5.6 just won't allow me to get the sharpness there that I need uh, for that photo. So that's what I think in terms of this photo that the issue is. Um, the shutter speed was fast enough. The ISO was 800. So uh, one that I could have fixed this little bit of graininess if I needed to, if I wanted to make this uh, photo work for us, but um, just hadn't, just didn't stop down the aperture enough. In my second example, it's the mom and dad from this very same session, um, same place, and you can see that he is behind her. Um, probably should have brought his head forward a little more so that they were on the same plane. But I just sometimes like to have them on a different plane. Um, so again, I had an f-stop of f5.0 and that's just not going to do it in that case uh, when you have them uh, that far apart from each other and believe it or not even at 6.3 or 7.1 I sometimes find if I'm close to them uh, it's not going to work uh, if I back up and then zoom in with a telephoto lens I can be a little bit more uh, accurate uh, I'm pretty sure that I used the 70 to 200 lens with this photo. Let me take a look in the metadata. Uh, let's see. Nope, it was the 24 to 70. I was wrong. But um, you can see that I, the focus was on his eyes. Um, and hers are totally out of focus. So um, I just let that focus point fall to him. And uh, maybe if I'd put it right in between here, that might have worked. But my thought is, is that I probably put it right here on his eye and got his eye in focus, but not hers. Third example, I'm trying again last summer to figure this out. Uh, so I have another family and I um, want to get everybody in focus. This time I went up to F7.1 and I thought that would do it. Um, I put that focus point one third of the way into the photo. You can see the little boys uh, eyes are in focus 
and little sisters too, although they're sharp enough. I wouldn't call those laser sharp or tack sharp. His are tack sharp. Um, and then his sisters are tack sharp. The moms are okay, but dad is completely out of focus. And some of it is because maybe he's taller than they are, but it's simply that 7.1 is not going to get that group in focus when you are, um, when you're at cl too close to them. Um, let's see what I used for this. This photo was taken with, again, the 24 to 70. Uh, and a wider angle lens like that, it was 24 to 70 at 39 millimeters. So maybe if I'd opened it up to 35 or even 28, I might have done better because the wider the lens that you use, the better chances that you have to get a bigger group in focus when you're close to them. <clears throat> This photo was also taken last summer. And you notice the difference between the puppy's head and my niece's head. Um, I was focused on him because he was wiggly and puppyish, and his eyes are in focus. No trouble. His eyes and his nose. But my niece's, who you almost would think that she's on the same plane because he's backed up so close to her. But the difference between the difference in space between his head and her head, they are just not in focus. In fact, her whole head's not in focus. And it's possible she moved a little bit, but it's more likely that that I just didn't get. Um, I have it on 5.6. 5.6 is just not going to work. And this is the 7300 because. I'm at 123 millimeters, so zoomed in. And I'm also using a fairly um, high ISO. I think that is because I first took pictures of him running around, moving all over the place. And so um, I probably didn't change it when I sat them down. And maybe if I had made the ISO lower, um, you know, that would have helped some too. But honestly, when you think to yourself that you have a, a shutter speed of 1 640th, that you would be able to get both those people, the people and the puppy together in focus, you should. And sometimes I find that things that should happen uh, don't always happen. Um, and you just, when you have people's heads far enough away from each other like that, you almost always in my mind need to go up to F8, you know, F8 and be there. That's an old um, saying that, that photographers used to say when they were using film and, you know, with digital, at least we can take another and take another and go from there. But um, you can feel pretty confident about at about F.8 that you're going to be able to get things in, in focus you know, when their heads are far apart. And here is another uh, photo from last summer. I really was killing myself over sharpness issues last summer. Um, this couple, they are on the same plane. Um, husband is a little bit taller than the wife, but again, I'm at F5.6, which is always problematic for me with two people. I'm using the 70 to 200 lens. I'm at 142 millimeters and I have ISO 100 and my um, shutter speed is 1 one twenty fifth. Now that shutter speed could be a problem uh, in this case because uh, whenever I'm using the 70 to 200 I like to have at least 1 three twentieth of a second or even better 1 four hundredth of a second but this is a couple that's not running around uh, and so uh, if you look at her eyes, they are nice and sharp.
but if you look at his eyes, they are the tiniest bit out of focus. And maybe that looks that way a little bit more because he's wearing contacts, but um, but it's just something that you you know that you want to keep in mind. Um, maybe I should have. I still think that it works better if I step farther back with a telephoto lens and then zoom zoom in. Um, it does a better job. If the closer you get to your subjects, the more likely you are to have. Uh, sharpness issues. Uh, if you have questions uh, between the two videos that I have, and I'm going to type up this afternoon a um, just a little PDF with the four or five things that I think are really important to keep in mind when you're trying to get sharp focus, please, you know, uh, send me a message through the Going Manual at Sea uh, Facebook page or um, contact me directly. I'm happy to sit and talk with you about how to get those pictures sharp. Um, it's a constant struggle. Um, you know, all the time I'm thinking, how, how, am I, how can I be more consistent? How can I make sure that um, my photos are sharp? And um, you just need to think about all the things we talked about in the video. ISO, shutter speed, your aperture or f-stop. Um, maybe go to back button focusing so that you're using your thumb to focus and your index finger to take the expose the photo. Uh, think about exposure. Photos that are properly exposed, like you see like where you go from one end of the histogram to the other, um, those will generally um, be a little easier to at least fix or to sharpen um, a bit in post. Um, we didn't talk about that at all, about sharpening your photos. Um, I'm not great at that. Um, I, ch I tend to go with what I have normally, but you can improve the sharpness by um, some sharpening techniques in uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. Um, and then the other thing is, is just to consider your subjects. Um, are you doing a still life? You're going to have a lot better success than you are if you're um, taking photos at the Kentucky Derby or of wildlife in Africa or of a two-year-old, which I did today. And, uh, you know, I just expect that I'm going to get some out-of-focus exposures when you have a two-year-old because they're unpredictable. Um, I'm going to sign off now and tell you guys thank you and sorry I'm a little late um, with, the, with the challenge this month. Um, Contact me if you need me, uh, and I appreciate everything. Thank you.